This is how to use a lock style fitting. By the end of this video, you'll know as much as I do about these easy to use fittings. To use a lock style fitting, simply retract the locking nut as far as it can go. Push the tubing on as far as it will go over the barb. You might have to walk it back and forth to get it securely in place. Once it's on over the barb, turn the locking nut to secure it in place. There are a couple tips that make these easy to use fittings even easier to use. The hot water trick. If you're having difficulty pushing the tubing on over the barb, you can dip the end of the tubing into a cup or pan of very hot water. Be careful not to burn yourself. Leave it there for a few moments and the tubing will soften up considerably. When tubing is soft, it becomes very flexible, which makes it significantly easier to push on over the barb of the fitting. If the hot water isn't convenient, you can do something similar by installing the tubing during the hottest part of the day. Leave it in the sun for a little bit and it will soften up almost the same as if it were dipped into hot water. Another tip is to never remove the locking nut unless you need to clean the fitting for any reason. The locking nut should always stay on the fitting itself. Another tip, because these are reusable, is that you can lean on this to have great flexibility when you're installing or expanding a system. Lock style fittings almost give you a modular effect as you can easily add on to an existing system at any time. One of my favorite tips is that you can use lock style fittings to connect a larger tubing size to a smaller tubing size. This means if your project is large enough to call for a larger tubing size, but you wanna save on material costs, you can use the large tubing to where you need it and then immediately reduce to a smaller tubing size using the exact same lock style fitting. This saves on material cost considerably as there are large cost jumps between one half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch tubing. A design tip for lock style fittings is that they're available in many configurations, from T's where you need to split your line, elbows where you need to turn 90 degrees, even on off valves so you can turn portions of your system off when you no longer need to irrigate there. Lock style fittings are also available in four way crosses, threaded fittings so you can connect them to threaded connections, and couplings to join two pieces of tubing together. These couplings can also be used as repair couplings. Simply cut the damaged portion out and rejoin the remaining two undamaged sections with a coupling. Lock style fittings also are available in end caps, so you don't have to fight with those difficult figure eight fittings anymore. And you can simply unthread the cap to allow the lines to drain or to flush them out. Lock style fittings are also available with automatic flush valves. That way, when you start your system up and turn it off, it will drain some of the water that would otherwise be trapped in the lines. Flushing your lines is important because it takes any debris that might otherwise remain trapped in there and possibly plug your emitters and flushes it right out the end. Flushing the lines also prevents water from stagnating inside the tubing or possibly being exposed to the sun and getting very hot, which could damage plants. Flushing the lines also helps prevent the growth of anything inside the lines. This is particularly a concern if you're injecting any nutrients. Lock style fittings are not limited to tubing either. Lock style fittings are available for drip tape, which is quickly becoming one of the more popular irrigation solutions that we see. With the adapter installed, all you have to do to connect your tape is retract the locking nut on the takeoff adapter, push the tape on over the barb, and then turn the locking nut to secure the tape on over that barb. Lock style fittings will save you time as they're very easy to use, even for first time DIYers. They'll save you money because they can be reused for years to come. And lock style fittings can save you a lot of frustration particularly compared to fittings like compression fittings or barbed insert fittings. If you'd like to see how lock style fittings stack up to other fitting types, check out our video right there where we compare lock style fittings to all the other fitting types that we see used in drip irrigation.